What are you doing? Sketgrass snaps for the fifth time that day, pulling a blanket around his shoulders to stave off the desert chill. For the fifth time, Ergo gives no answer. His pace around the home is glacial, but steady, deliberating for far longer than Sketgra deems necessary before placing each object. It's a strange mix. Delicate candles, little stones, strings of desert glass hung beside the creeping Erdroot vines. He hums while he works, low and resonant, but tuneless, seemingly as random as the decorations. Sketgrass scoffs and returns to his work, scratching at the ever-aching nail in his skull. They've been here nearly a full trine ever since their exile, but there's still much about the ways of his other half that he cannot claim to understand. He nearly forgets about it until the great sun begins to sink below the dunes. He sets his tools aside, expecting the darkness to creep in, but it never comes. When he turns, he lets out an audible gasp. Light, not only from the flickering candles, but a strange soft mauve light setting the whole room aglow, the reflections from the glass dancing along the wall like flames. After a moment of frozen awe, he realises that Ergo is missing and turns to the only place he can be. The mystic sits on the balcony, a dark shape against the brilliant sky, and when Sketgra looks up, he understands. A lesser conjunction. Though the largest has long since departed, he can see the deep purple of the dying sun silhouetted against its rosy brethren. Ergo is still humming, but now it's as though the rocks hum along with him, thrumming with life. Is this the song? Skidgrass sits down beside him. It's beautiful. The words feel foreign on his tongue, but honest. Certainly more so than any time he'd choke them out at any kind of Skeksis, lavish, self-indulgent celebrations. Ergo's humming ceases, and he turns with a soft smile. It is. Is all this? Skekgrad gestures back to the decorations, somehow placed perfectly to maximise on the conjunction's glow. A mystic thing? Harmony with Thra and all that. Ergo chuckles. Not exactly. There's a mischievous glint in his eye, one that makes Skekgra understand a little better why he'd never quite fit in with his own kind either. Master Usu would have called it too decadent. Skitgra cackles. Clearly the mystics have no idea of the meaning of the word, but the laughter fades into something more pensive. So, it's just yours then? Ergo shakes his head. Ours. Ours. He supposes it is. Just like everything else they've created in this place, there are no longer Skeksy or Mystic, no longer bound by rules or traditions. Merely two lone figures in the empty vastness of the desert, seeking unity and beauty and purpose. Even in a world that can never truly be theirs. Maybe that it is something to celebrate. Skekgran nods and lets his hand rest beside Ergo's. Ours.